Through variable, we can save only one data. But if we need to store multiple data, we can use array. So array can be thought as a container that has a list of storage location for a specified data type. It is just like a big house with multiple flats where variable is a single home. Same like variable when declaring an array, we have to specify the type and name of array. Array is a group of homogeneous element of specific data type. It means integer type array can store only integer data. Float type array can store float type data. But it is not possible in one array we can store different types of data. We need to use the new operator to instantiate the size of the array. Size is basically the number of elements the array has. In multi-flat apartment, every flat has their own number, what we use as postal address of the flat. Same like that, individual elements of an array are accessed by their position in the array. The position is given by an index, which is also called a subscript. In c -sharp, array is zero based. So index number starts from zero. Like in this case, our integer array has four elements. So the index is like x0, x1, x2 and x3. Here our x is single dimensional array. It is going towards one direction. But array can be multidimensional and jacked array. See this code example. As we already told, first one is single dimensional array. It has size of 4. This array contains the element from array 0 to array 3. In this example, all the array elements are initialized to 0 and we initialize them with the default value 0. Console.write line write the value of second element of array 1 on console and it will be 0. See the first line we are getting on console is 0. At the time of declaration we can also store different values in array element. So in this case all of our array container got some value what we specify it at the time of declaration 1 after 1. We can also do initialization and declaration through another sorter way you are viewing here. So the console.write right line now will print the value of third element of array 3 that is 34 on console. Next one is two dimensional array. Array can be multidimensional with each dimension separated by a comma. It must also be instantiated with the new operator. Here our array has two rows and three columns. Because of this column and row representation, multidimensional array are also known as rectangular array. Similarly like single dimensional, all elements are initialized with zero. We also can initialize the multidimensional array upon declaration like the way we are showing here. Here console.write line function will write second row's third column's element value on console and which is 6 here. First two is for column number and one is for row number. Now do debug. See we get it on console. Last one is jagged array. It is essentially an array of arrays. We need to use the new operator to instantiate the size of the primary array and then use the new operator again for each sub array. In case of jagged array, the sizes of sub arrays can be different. In first element of our jagged array, store an array with size of 4 and the second element is storing an array in size of 3. In this line, we are writing the value of second element of first sub array inside the jag array. Here, first number is representing the element of jag array 
storing sub array and second one is the element number of that sub array in this case the value of number we will get on console is 16 okay let's test it here we get what we are expecting So in summary we can say when we need to store multiple data of same data type we can use array. Array is a group of homogeneous element of specific data type. It is not possible in one array we can store different type of data. Array are three types single dimensional, multi dimensional and jacked array.